Hey guys, what's up? It's App OSX here, and today I will be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 4.3.1 using Snowbreeze 2.5, which is, of course, for Windows. The compatible devices are the iPhone 3G, 3GS, and 4, the iPad Touch 2G, 3G, 4G, the iPad 1, and the Apple TV 2. The iPad 2 is not currently supported um, with any jailbreak at this point by Untethered, because the jailbreak was patched by Apple's boot ROM in the iPad 2. So there is currently no untethered jailbreak for the iPad 2. So iPad 2 users like myself will have to wait to jailbreak their iPad 2s, at least untethered. So to download Snowbreeze, go ahead and click the link in the description and it will lead you to the website and you simply download uh, Snowbreeze 2.5 or whatever the latest version is. So we're going to open the program, hit OK, and we're going to continue. So we'll start off by browsing for our firmware, which we will go ahead and select IPSW 4.3.1 for the iPhone 4. We'll be doing expert mode, however there aren't many options in expert mode. So we'll go to general, we will enable gestures menu, install SSH, and leave the root partition size as it is. Custom apps, I don't have any custom apps, and that's pretty much it. For um, that's all you can do for the iPhone 4 on this firmware, as there is no Snowbreeze or custom boot logos um, for the iPhone 4 currently. So we'll go ahead and build IPSW. This process should take about two to five minutes, and I'll get back to you when it's done. All right, Snowbreeze is done building the IPSW, and we're going to go ahead and jailbreak my iPhone 4. And as with most jailbreaks, we're going to plug in our iPhone 4 into the computer via USB and we're going to hit continue and hit the OK button to follow the instructions. So first off we are going to need to turn off your device so simply hold the power button and slide to turn off your device. Um, like I said make sure it stays plugged in. So once your device has completely turned off we're going to hit start and it says prepare to press home and power so once that hits zero we're going to press the home and power for 10 seconds and after the 10 seconds we will release the power button and continue to hold the home button and you release the power button and we continue to hold the home button so just let this count down it should actually go in the dfu mode around 20 seconds and then um, there you see there it goes and it'll tell you that your device is now in pwn dfu state now all you do is have to launch itunes shift restore to the custom ipsw located on your desktop so we'll hit OK and we're going to iTunes. So we're going to hit Shift, Restore, and we're going to go to our desktop. And we're going to use this software file right here, Snowbreeze iPhone 4.4.3.1. Um, 4 we're going to hit Restore and we will let this go ahead and go through the restore process. If you get an error, it tells you to unplug and try again. And if you continue to get errors, just be sure to I guess check out the forms or be sure to message me on YouTube and hopefully I'll be able to help. So once this process is done, I will get back to you. All right, iTunes has finished restoring and the message has popped up that it will reboot. So we're going to go ahead and let our iPhone 4 reboot. And when it boots up, I should be jailbroken on iOS 4.3.1 um, with Cydia and all the custom options that I selected. Now this jailbreak, um, it is important to note that some jailbreak apps and tweaks may not be compatible with 4.3.1, so do give them some time if you do get mobile substrate or springboard crashes. And like I said, iPad 2 support will come soon. I promised to make a video on it. It's just that um, it was unfortunate that Apple, I guess, found out about the exploits and patched them with the iPad 2 boot ROM. So it looks like this is almost done booting up here. And we're going to let it activate here really quickly. And there it vibrates and it should activate here in a second. And then basically after this you are done uh, jailbreaking and uh, your iPhone 4 and stuff like that. We're just going to go into uh, set up as a new phone and uh, we will be done with that. So that's basically it for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe somewhere up there for more jailbreak videos and um, app tweaks and app reviews. Uh, please follow me on Twitter at AppOSX. Um, I cannot accept any more Game Center friends because I have reached the limit, so I would say add me on Game Center. And last but not least, 
go ahead and check out iOSbeta4.com to secure your spot for iOS 5 um, beta, which should be coming out soon, maybe April or perhaps June. It's what is looking at. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching.